What's up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim's School of Fishing. Class is in session. I'm excited because today we are going to take a look at a Rough Rider slip joint knife from the Backwoods Bushcrafter series. This is a really cool series. I've had this knife for a while, but I've never shown it on the channel. It's one of my favorite patterns, so I'm excited to show this one to you. But before we do that, a couple quick announcements. I've got memberships available. If you'd like to support the channel, I really appreciate it. You can find the link in the channel about section, also in the description. And the 3K giveaway round eight is coming to a close. I am going to announce a winner for that one this Saturday. So if you have not entered that yet, make sure you go and enter for the giveaway. I will pin that entry video to the end screen. But today, we're gonna look at this Backwoods Bushcrafter knife from Rough Rider. So, without further ado, let's get this camera turned around and take a closer look. All right, so this one's part of a series, and normally Rough Rider's series knives come in this magnetic clasp box, which is really nice. Their one-off knives typically just come in a little nondescript brown box but this one is part of the backwoods bushcrafter series so it has this presentation that is typically on their series knives on the top here it says rough rider backwoods bushcrafter we've got some forest in the background a little mountain here pretty cool on this side we've got our back-to-back -back r's on the bottom here always quality handmade pocket knives rough rider backwoods bushcrafter and on the end here we've got our model number which is rr one eight four three when you open the box you've got the back-to-back -back r's and rough rider on the lid we've got a nice padded felt liner so excellent presentation on these series knives from rough rider and there is our knife so let's take a look at this bad boy All right, so this is a hawkbill, which is one of my favorite patterns. Overall length on this one is seven and a quarter inches. We've got a three and a quarter inch blade and a four inch handle. Our blade here is 440A blade steel. We've got a match strike nail nick pull and a forward swedge. On the tang there, we've got the back to back R's. On the other side of the tang, we've got our model number and up here on the knife, our blade steel. We've got saw cut, burnt, amber bone covers on this one. We've got a copper bolster that is pinched at the end with the R stamp on there, copper pins and a copper shield. You can see our shield there is pretty awesome. It says Rough Rider, always ready. We've also got a lanyard hole if you like to put a lanyard on your knife. We've got a stainless steel backspring with copper liners. So all copper on this one, which is really cool. And I really, really love the covers on this one. They did an outstanding job on the saw cut. And I love how up here where we get close to the bolster that the color is different, really gives it a lot of awesome character. And I just love that. And of course I love the copper all the way around with the black stone wash blade in my opinion it looks really really awesome our transition here from our bolster to our cover is nice and smooth with no stepping or gapping the shield is inlaid nicely and we've got no proud pins so really good on the show side there on the pile side no stepping or gapping from the bolster to the covers and on the back here we've got a single thread and on the front of that bolster, we've got the R Tang stamp. No proud pins on the pile side either. So very good on that side as well. We've got no stepping and no gapping here on our back spring. So really good fit and finish. The blade is dead nut centered on this one now. I will be honest, these, are, these knives are less than $20. So they are kind of hit and miss. More often than not, the fit and finish is good, but sometimes you are going to get a dud. That's just going to happen with a Chinese knife that's less than $20. Pull on that one is pretty light. It's about a three for me. 
good snap to the fully open position. We've got no stepping or gapping there. Nice smooth walk, a little bit lazy at the half stop. Our spring is not fully flush, but that's not something that bothers me. Of course, I would prefer it to be fully flush, but on a $17, $18 knife, that's not going to bother me. And a pretty decent snap there for a hawk bill. So nice smooth walk and a decent talk. It's not the best walk and talk I've ever had, but it will do. In the hand here, this is essentially a pruning knife. And you can see we've kind of got a sway back handle here. So this is really designed for a reverse grip and pull cuts. And in that grip, it feels excellent. Now, some people don't like a sway back pattern in a traditional grip, but it does not bother me at all. And I can get about a three and a half finger grip. If I choke up here on the kick, I can get a full four finger grip on that one. No hot spots, no warm spots. Everything chamfered down nicely. We've got no sharp edges on this one. Now, like I said, a hawkbill pattern is one of my favorite patterns and I do enjoy carrying them. Some people do not like to carry a traditional hawkbill because obviously the blade sticks out so far out of the blade well doesn't bother me at all. The reason that I love these knives is because I work from home, I work in an office, and so most of the cuts that I'm making every day are gonna be opening boxes, opening clam packs, popping zip ties, and this Hawkbill blade shape is just perfect for that. It's a great box opener, great for getting in clam packs, great for popping zip ties. It's just a great everyday carry, and I really love the Hawkbill pattern. I know some guys don't like them, but I think they're great, and this one is big enough to be a nice everyday carry size. So there you go, boys and girls. That is the Rough Rider Backwoods Bushcrafter Hawkbill. Like I said, this is part of a series. I'm not sure exactly how many knives are in this series. There's usually anywhere between six and nine in a Rough Rider series. I'm not sure if this one is still available, but I know that a lot of the other patterns from this particular series are still available. So if you like the look of this one, just search Rough Rider Backwoods Bushcrafter, and I'm sure a few of them will pop up. As always, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know if you have any knives from the Backwoods Bushcrafter series and what you think of them. Don't forget to enter the 3K giveaway, and don't forget that memberships are now available if you would like to support the channel. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click my logo right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim's School of Fish, boys and girls. Class dismissed.